This episode of Cleaning Biz TV is made possible by the Janitorial Supervisor Training Program, the program you can use to groom your best employees for supervisory positions. I'm Jean Hansen, and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. If you're a cleaning business owner, you've no doubt had to deal with burnout. And if you haven't yet, just wait, your time will come. We have so many responsibilities when it comes to owning a business. Finding clients, making sure those clients are happy with our service, finding good employees, training those employees, dealing with employee turnover, making sure the bookkeeping side of the business is functioning legally, and the list goes on and on. So what exactly is burnout? Well, here are a few of the symptoms. Feeling run down and totally drained, both physically and emotionally. Dreading having to go to work every day or having negative thoughts about your business. Finding yourself getting easily irritated by small problems. Feeling you have more work than you can possibly handle. And feeling as if you'll never get any time off without constantly worrying about what's happening with the business. What I've discovered over the years is that when you're suffering from burnout, if you're not careful, it can take over your life. And if you don't take it seriously and do something about it, it could affect the success of your business. Because if you are not happy, your employees will pick up on it and their own performance and productivity will quickly slide downhill. So there's a careful balance that you need to maintain in order to keep from burning out. Now there are all sorts of things that you can do to temporarily help the day-to-day -day stresses of running your business, such as taking a walk, listening to music, or meditating. But those are just temporary measures. I believe the real key is to find the right people to help you manage your business. Because when you have the right people in place for each side of your business, you can teach them how to manage the portion that they're responsible for and that will free you up to do what you want to be doing for your business and it will give you the ability to take time away from the business. You should always be on the lookout for people that you feel are trustworthy, dependable, and could fill your shoes, even if it's just for a few days. Start giving them additional training and responsibility. Also, give them small tests to see how well they do with making decisions. Take a day off and let them handle things. Then gradually start extricating yourself from the day to day so that eventually you're able to take several days off or even a week off without totally stressing out. Dealing with burnout is something we all have to deal with eventually. How you choose to deal with it will decide if you can work your way out of it to continue running your business successfully or whether you decide it's just not worth it anymore and move on to something else. Now I'd like to know how you deal with burnout. Please share your comments below the video at cleaningbiz.tv. That's it for today's show. If you need help with grooming your best employees for supervisory positions, be sure to check out the Supervisor Training Program, which offers practical training for developing supervisory skills. I'm Jean Hansen, and you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time. Oh, 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 oh,